What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 36th XHTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called positioning. So before whenever we were making websites and we added like an image and then a header and then a paragraph and then you know maybe some links or something, everything kind of appeared after one another it kind of flowed together in a nice neat order I mean your image knew automatically not to appear on top of your text to cover it up and whenever you made a paragraph it didn't just put them in a random location it put it under whatever was there before like under your header or under your image so everything kind of flowed automatically but while this is good if you're going for that you know kind of boring organized look it didn't give you a whole lot of control over the layout and look of your website so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to change all that using something called absolute positioning now let's go ahead and uh, look at an example right now so I'm gonna make two divs or aka two boxes on the screen and I'm gonna show you guys how to move them around exactly where you want them. so let's go ahead and make a div with an ID of I don't know apples and just go ahead and end that div let's add some text in it I am the apple box isn't there a serial like apple jacks that's what I was thinking of so let's go ahead and copy this and add another div with ID blueberry and just put like yo soy un blueberry this can be a Mexican blueberry box so anyways go ahead and save this and see what we have on our screen so far we have I am the apple box and yo soy un blueberry the blueberry box so in order to uh, you know visualize these a little better let's go ahead up in CSS and give them a border you know actually so they actually look like boxes so go ahead and in your apples let's add some rules to it border equals two picks solid red because apples are red it might make it easier to tell and let's see in order to apply that absolute positioning here's what you need to do type in the attribute position and for the value type absolute and now well I it's better if I just show you what absolute positioning is so anyways just leave it like this but anyways since these are boxes we need to give them a couple things first of all a width and a height so CSS knows how wide and how tall to draw that border and also a top and a left or pretty much coordinate so it knows where on the screen to draw the border so width equals uh, I don't know let's say 150 pixels and height equals 175 pixels that'll be good for uh, this resolution so now we need to say where on the screen do you want to draw this box well 30 pixels down from the top is good and let's say right in other words 15 pixels from the left so now let's go ahead and save this and see what we got we got a red box 2 pixels solid red it's absolute and the width is 150 by 175 and it's 30 pixels down from the top and 15 pixels from the right so now you're saying this is pretty cool because now I can have my elements in boxes and I can move them anywhere I want around the screen so for example your boss comes in and he's like Bucky make this a hundred more pixels to the right and more in some more pixels down so you're saying alright now I can add a hundred pixels to that and instead of 30 put it at like 40 and save it and bam check it out move it over some and move it down some pretty cool but now we're gonna run into a problem and that's this it's not so much a problem as something that you just need to look out for go ahead and uh, copy this and let's see if this works go ahead and now let's make a box for blueberry and let's first of all make that border blue so we can see what we're doing and make the width mm, I mean those are pretty good so change this to 30 and you know 15 whoa easy hoss so now in our blueberry box we have a blue border the position is absolute still um, the width and height are the same but it's just at different coordinates so now whenever we save this and refresh this we see that something weird happens that didn't happen before with absolute positioning absolute positioning basically says alright I'm gonna give you complete control over where to place your elements but I don't care if any other element is in my way I don't care if any other box is in my way 
If it is, I'm just going to overlap it, F it. I only care about myself. So while this is an excellent way to position elements on the screen exactly where you want them, you need to look out for a couple things. First of all, before, whenever we just made dumb old websites, everything was positioned nice and neatly. Now we run into the problem of things might having to bump into each other or overlapping. So whenever you're making your websites, you have to make sure don't overlap your stuff or it's going to be hard to read. I mean, look at this is uh, you know, this would be pretty hard to read if we had two paragraphs in here and you overlap them and try to read them together. So anyways, whenever you're making a website, you have to watch out not to overlap your stuff right now because even though we have control over exactly where things go, we have to watch out not to make them bump into each other. So anyways, it doesn't flow like a uh, other XHTML would just by default and anyways you guys can see what's going on so this is basically absolute positioning the idea that you can take an element and put it absolutely in a location no matter what else is in the way so you're saying alright this is pretty cool I'm just gonna take all my elements and arrange them make sure they don't overlap and I'm just gonna make a website like that well before you just going and before you just go and make an entire website out of absolute positioning, there are two other forms of positioning I want to teach you guys about. And when you use them together, it's going to give you a whole lot more control and it's going to make your website so much better. So before you just go make a website with tons of boxes like this all over, stick with me for the next couple of tutorials. I'm going to be teaching you about some different types of positioning and trust me, you will thank me by the end of these tutorials. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys understand the concept of absolute positioning. And uh, if you don't, then just stick with me in these next couple of tutorials. Um, you will. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.